All right. Welcome, welcome. Here we are. Another month with the esteemed. And tonight this is going to be very interesting because they want to talk about regeneration of the soul. And they're going to do a healing for us called the cellular regeneration and repattering of our damaged DNA and our call channel. And so I wanted to share with you uh, a bit from the book, the Palladian Workbook, Awakening Your Divine Call by Amora Kuan Yin. I want to share this information before I start channeling about the cellular regeneration because um, it will help explain a bit before the scenes come in and do this healing on us because they're, they told me today that as we all know, we've lived many lifetimes and we've had many lifetimes where we've had what we call cellular damage to our DNA and into our own cellular memory of lifetimes where our lives have um, been, been disharmonic. They have not been in harmony with our spirit essence. So they want to do this cellular regeneration and repattern for us to help not only heal our soul matrix, but heal our physical DNA and our energy centers within our nervous system to help us to begin to heal and be able to regenerate the vital life force energy of the God essence within us to keep us healthy and strong. So I want to share a little bit from this book from the Palladian and then, as I said, I'll begin to channel. Earth cannot be healed until we as a species evolve spiritually. Evolution must include everything from basic ethics to higher morality and call awakening, from not polluting physically to clearing our negative thoughts and feelings, which pollute psychically and spiritually. Earth cannot afford for us to continue as a race that is spiritually irresponsible. Only through developing a conscience, awakening to the sacredness of all life, and choosing to honor these awarenesses will we become inhabitants of the earth in a non-harmful and restorative way. There is enough knowledge of the threats to our planet's future that we must choose to evolve now. Any one of the following can bring what we call the end of life on earth to the ozone layer holes, the greenhouse effect, planetary warming, the destruction of the rainforest, old growth forest, the death of our oceans, underground nuclear waste, nuclear explosions, and the list goes on. Our thoughts, beliefs, feelings, and attitudes towards ourselves and others are behind every destructive and unconscious act, are behind this circumstance through which our planet and we ourselves can heal. It is our choice. These energies are constantly contributing to the creation of our world on every level. Thoughts are measurable energy, and movement of energy impacts everything around it. A thought was the beginning of creation, and our thoughts are constantly recreating or destroying everything. The phrase, think globally, act locally, means that we must start by examining and changing ourselves. Then our attitudes and actions will respond to the loved ones, communities, and beyond. Since the Christ set the example for what we are, what we are to become, we've had many, we have had almost 20 centuries to play out the control dramas karmic patterns, and planetary thought forms made manifest. You have seen and experienced all the addictions and obsessions that have kept us disempowered and in low self-esteem. The seven solar ring karmic patterns have kept us hooked since the colonization of the solar system began through arrogance, addiction, prejudice, hatred, violence, victimhood, and a shame. The only thing left us left to us now is to seek the higher truth and power that will put an end to the madness and help us become a world of sovereign, self-respecting, christ of beings. Christ was born and awakened by, to awakened parents. He was never damaged or mutated the way people today are. If you were born to awakened parents and were never abused and damaged, and if your DNA with this genetic coding was clear the way Christ was, then you do not really need this healing. But most people are not born to awaken parents and have been damaged within their own DNA and genetic coding. 
If you were an awakened parent, you have been born with the call channels and access alignment to the multidimensional aspects of the higher self intact. What's more, your DNA and call channels would not become damaged through life experience. Spiritual growth and attainment would be accelerated and much more directly accessible. However, Earth has been spiritually in the dark ages for so long that guilt, control for power, destruction of the indigenous people, and so much more has caused great havoc upon the Earth. Due to these and other karmic patterns, as well as your modern society with its chemical addictive pesticides, noise pollution, radar, electricity, microwaves, television, and computers, you've become a mutant race. Besides that, your generation chose to come in with genetic addictions and mutations, as well as societal and parental programming for the purpose of transforming them. You are the bridge generation, the bridge between the old world and the new one being birthed in the 21st century. And I often call that being the new earth being, as I reference that through my teachings. At least 50% of the practitioners will have done this healing and spiritual work in other lifetimes. They will also have been enlightened at other times on earth. Their experiences will be reawakened with much life experience and wisdom gained in this process. Your generation took on the genetic mutations and programming because you knew you were capable of transmuting them. Many of you are very old souls and have been serving Earth and learning about humanness for a very long time. Most of you will, will not be returning here after this lifetime. By doing your own clearing work and spiritual practice, you are paving the way for new children and the new Earth children to be born with much less to transmute. This is an added, this is an added grace. As their parents continue to heal and grow, these new light beings will automatically receive the benefits of what we have done. Some of them have been human a few times to anchor their awareness of karmic and genetic patterns and they may bring some karma in with them. However, this will be relatively minimal. You must nurture these children and help them to be aware from the moment they are born that they are welcomed here on earth, that they are loved, and that they are Holy Spirits made of light. As they grow, they need to hear these things over and over again. You must look at them with the intent of seeing the beauty of their essences and loving them. They must be communicated with as if they are intelligent, aware beings from the beginning, because they are. It is a rare gift to have the opportunity to birth these new wise beings and include them in your lives. Always honor that gift. Many couples who wish to have children will want to receive this healing work and genetic clearing before conceiving. This will enable the children to be born without blockages in their called channel. So tonight what the Essenes want to bring forth is the information about clearing the cod channels and clearing the damaged DNA. And they call that the cellular regeneration and repattering of energy. So because we've lived in these bodies for many lifetimes. As you know, we hold and carry this cellular memory of other lifetimes within our essence. And so we're triggered by memories. We're triggered by stimulation. We're triggered by energy that has affected our central nervous system. And so tonight, the Essenes are here to help us to begin to be come more like the Christed being. For as was said, Christ was born to awaken parents without any mutations within his DNA. So tonight we're being gifted this opportunity to clear this pattern within us from our ancestral lineage, but also to clear these mutations that have been held through lifetimes where we have not lived in balance and harmony with our spirit, as I've said. So this is going to be a really powerful healing. And so if you can just begin to relax, settle in, close your eyes and relax. 
the Essenes will bring their healing and their message tonight for each of us to receive. And the Mother God, we call forth the highest frequency, the highest light as we invoke the powerful voices of the Essenes to step forward to bring their words of wisdom, healing, guidance as they call forth the energy of the cellular regeneration and repattering within our own soul matrix, within our own physicality, within our own physical DNA and in our craw channel. Tonight as we receive this gift of healing in our central nervous system, may we begin to receive these higher frequencies of light and love that we were born to receive fully within our physicality to fully receive the light and the love and the energy from the great God essence as what we call the energy of the elixir of life comes down through our crown chakra entering in through our acetonial lines into our meridian and our chakras as our central nervous system begins to receive the communication of regeneration, of cellular repattering. So tonight as the Essenes come as one voice, one force field of energy, may we open ourselves to receive and allow our physical bodies to be rejuvenated, allow our mental bodies, our emotional body, our spiritual body, and all of our subtle light bodies to receive this frequency as our etheric double, our own aura, receives this powerful healing to bring forth the restoration of our original blueprint as powerful divine beings. Tonight, as we honor ourselves as the new earth beings, regenerating and restoring our body, bringing forth what we call the elixir of life, the fountain of youth, the vitality of God's essence back in to our physicality, allowing this energy to run through our central nervous system, healing all distortions, healing and clearing emotion and thought form that are affecting our central nervous system, affecting our chakras, affecting our meridian, affecting our acetonial lines, and affecting our entire cellular structure so that we can infuse the energy, the white light of God, back into our essence so that we may be free and sovereign as we are restored as beautiful, physical, spiritual beings of light. So take a deep inhaling breath and begin to breathe in the energy of the white light of God. Breathing in the energy of the white light of God. Breathing in the energy of the white light of God. Breathing in the energy of the white light of God. Breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. Breathing in. The energy of the white light of God, breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. The energy of the white light of God. Greetings, dear ones. Yes, we are the Essenes. We are the collective voices of the Essenes. We come tonight to speak about the regeneration and the repattering of your own cellular structure your own soul matrix and beginning, as they say, to clear the damage and the distortion within your own physical DNA so that your beautiful 12-strand DNA can begin to operate more efficiently and you'll be able to have access to your own inner wisdom and your inner guidance. So we ask you at this time to open your mind, your heart, to receive this healing upon this day. 
for it is of great importance that you begin to regenerate and to receive the power of love that we, the Essenes, wish to bring to you as we call this frequency in to our own physicality to restore our body, mind, and spirits back to perfect health, wholeness, and harmony. As you know, we lived in harmony and balance with all of life. And because of your current civilization, you have lived in a state of stress and distortion of energy that is affecting your electrical magnetic field and your physical body. And so tonight, we are bringing this force field of energy in to your etheric devil to begin to heal and to strengthen your etheric devil as it begins to heal your physical body and allow yourself to be restored into a divine perfected state as your etheric body is now being restored as if tonight we, the Essenes, and the Palladian emissaries of light, yes, the Palladian emissaries of light are here with us, restoring and repairing your own DNA, restoring and repairing your nervous system, restoring and repairing your cellular structure, restoring and repairing your spinal column, restoring and repairing your very atom, molecule, electron, as if the very nuclei within every cell is being regenerated and being repatterned at this moment of time. So please take a deep inhaling breath and receive this regeneration as if you were receiving an effusion of the fountain of youth that you're being restored back to your divine, holy, perfected state as the fountain of youth, like a new baby being reborn again, without the distortion that are held within your essence. From lifetimes of abuse, and from this lifetime of being affected by radiation, pollution in your air, your water, in your food, through your own thought form, through the distortion of other people's disharmonic frequencies that are held within the collective consciousness. Today, in this moment of time, we are rebirthing you into the etheric energy of your true oneness. And so take a deep breath and breathe this frequency in. Breathe the power of what we call these new holy light codes. Of dear Sarah's grail codes. Into your essence. Breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe, my children, breathe. Breathe in this energy. Breathe in this essence. Breathe in these new holy light grail codes. As we call forth the energy of yes, dear Sarah, to step forward with us, as well as the Palladian Council of Light, the Emissaries of Light, that are reconstructing your etheric body. We ask you to be healthy and strong, because we need all of you to step forward during what you call these troubled times, to be the light of the world to be a vessel of hope, to remain healthy and strong and vital in your life force energy so that you carry the light of God within you. That you embody the energy of the Christ essence as an emissary of light. That wherever you go, You are holding the divine perfection of God's essence within your own etheric body. 
just as you once lived in the time of Lemuria, where you lived in perfect harmony and balance in your etheric bodies and holy divine perfection. We are bringing this to you now again so that your etheric body, your light body, and your physical body, your mental body, your emotional body, your spiritual body, and all aspects of your being are held in divine perfection. And so the Palladian emissaries of light are working with your permission to heal the damage within your etheric field. As if they were rewiring your meridian system and your core channel to be restored to divine perfection. That any energy that you've held and carried that is not of pure love and light will now be healed with the rainbow colors of the light spectrum. As if you are feeling this energy of rejuvenation, repattering, regeneration, that is occurring within your cellular structure, your DNA, and in your etheric double. Your body will begin to respond to this energy and new patterns of regeneration as if there are neural pathways that are being reconnected inside of you new neural pathways that are assisting the neurons in your brain to be restored. So that your brain, your physical brain, is being rejuvenated into youthful vitality so that you have good mental capacity to focus, to remember, but also for your brain to be reconnected with the neural pathways into every organ, every gland, and every system within your body to begin to be rejuvenated so that your all of your systems, your digestive system, your skeletal system, your muscular system, your respiratory system, your autonomic nervous system your endocrine system all of the systems within your body can now be regenerated and restored and the brain is rewiring these neural pathways so that your body can be restored to divine perfection as if you were going through this metamorphosis and regeneration as if you were now a newborn baby with all of your functionings that are in divine perfection. You will see yourself becoming more youthful. Your body will begin to respond to this healing and regeneration. And you will have jump-started the vital life force energy the ka the prana the chi of the essence of God within you to allow you to be useful 
in mind, body, and spirit. Clearing, healing the distortion. that have been created within your own soul matrix and through your ancestral lineage. As if the damage that you've carried through your ancestors and in your own DNA no longer exists. You were born to be free. And you were born to be sovereign over your own mind, body, and spirit. You're simply in control of how your body operates because the neural pathways within your brain are being rewired to your original blueprint of divine perfection. And so call this in and receive this upon this day. For the next 24 hours, you will continue to be rewired to be reworked, if you so choose, by the Palladian Council of Light, and we, the Essenes, are overseeing this rejuvenation and repattering. This is extremely important for all of you, as I have said, this is necessary because we need each of you to anchor your light into your physicality and let your light shine so others may see and be the vessel of change and hope that is needed for this planet. And just like Christ, who was born with awakened parents, with no damage to his DNA, you are now being restored, just as Christ, as an awakened one, as an illumined one. Just as you have once lived in Lemuria during the heightened civilization of that time, where you are living in oneness and remembrance and living in your divine spirit as your body is being restored. Your brain is being restored. Your entire physical body, all of your systems, your glands, your organs are all being restored to divine perfection. Let go of what you call the belief that you are too old, the belief of limitations, because tonight we bring in this energy of the vital life force energy where all is possible, where you're able to create and manifest through your physical body. Because as you heal, the old belief system and the limiting beliefs that are stored within your consciousness, subconsciousness, and in your cellular memory, you are set free to create and manifest what you need and desire in this lifetime. A healthy body, a healthy mind. being able to create that which you desire. Be it your finances, your relationships, your career, your life purpose. You are now being regenerated into this frequency in divine holy grace. You are now being regenerated into this frequency of divine, holy grace. 
You are now being restored into this frequency in divine, holy grace. And so we, the Essenes, with the assistance of the Pleiadian emissaries of light, welcome you to receive. As you open your heart to receive this abundance and this healing upon your soul. So tonight as you receive this beautiful gift, we ask you to call in, into your heart, this remembrance of your beautiful spirit that is now living fully anchored into your physicality. As if the chambers of your heart chakra have opened to receive your beautiful spirit in full awareness, just as the Christ, you have come as an emissary of light, fully awakened, activated, mind, body, and spirit. Your physical body is now being prepared to receive your spirit so that your own full sensory perception, your intuitive and psychic abilities, your soul can now operate through you consciously and subconsciously, but consciously, where you are attuned to the spiritual gifts of clear audience, clear sentiments, clear avoidance, clear cognizance, that your full sensory perception is now anchored into your physicality. And you are free. Free to love, free to serve, and free to be. Free to love, free to serve, and free to be. So I ask you to breathe in this frequency of the essence of God's living light, the elixir of light, the energy of your own divine call, regenerating, restoring, illuminating every cell, every fiber, every pore of your being to its divine perfection. And your physical brain, your nervous system, your spinal column, All of your glands, organs, and systems are working 100% capacity with the divine light of God's essence. You'll begin to feel a change within yourself. You'll begin to feel lighter. You'll begin to feel more energetic. You'll Feel your pains, your suffering begin to diminish. And a new attitude shall be restored within you. That you are capable and able and accurately able to manifest and create that which you desire because you were, as they say, plugged in to the energy and the essence of God. You were plugged in to your physical body, to your mental body, your emotional body, your energetic light bodies. You were plugged in to source where the brain and the neural transmitters and the neural pathways can operate freely into your divine core channel that allow you to access 
to be able to receive. And so tonight as you receive this powerful frequency activating the energy within you, may you begin to feel this essence of peace as it is restored upon your soul. May you feel the energy of the white light of God restoring you, resurrecting you, as you receive this cellular rejuvenation and repattering upon the seed. And so be the voices of the Essenes and the Pleiadian emissaries of light are here to offer you the opportunity to choose health and perfect wholeness during this energetic time period of the ascension process as you merge in to your own light body as a new earth being living and breathing as you're connected to source again the neural pathways in your brain are being reconnected, restored. Your brain wave activities are now being heightened. You will not feel jittery or nervous. You will just simply feel a sense of balance and calm and peace as your body returns back to perfect homeostasis. Just like the calmness of a newborn baby that comes in this divine perfection. You are like a newborn baby coming forth in its divine perfection. So we offer this beautiful gift to you tonight for your service, your dedication to God. And your service and dedication to Mother Gaia. And your service and dedication to your own soul growth. This may sound like a tall order, as they say. But we ask, if you believe, so shall you receive. Believe and so shall you receive. Believe and so shall you receive. The body, the mind, and the spirit wish to return to balance and be restored into a divine perfection with this exalted state of glory. And may the love of God surround you, the power of God protects you, the presence of God watches over you wherever you are, God is, and all is well. Now begin to feel the energy encircling around you as if you were encased into this beautiful ray of light, of a pearl essence ray of light, Sarah's pearl essence ray of light. that shall continue to protect you and restore you and return you to your divine perfection. And so may you feel this energy in this essence as God's living light upon your soul.
So once again, take a deep breath and begin to receive the power of the living light of God as a powerful elixir of life is restored back into your mind, body, and spirit. And so breathe this energy down out through the soles of your feet as you are connecting all of this energy into all of your body, through your chakras, your axiotonal line, through your meridians. And if you're breathing this energy from your crown chakra all the way down to your earth star chakra, connecting your feet into the crystalline core of Mother Earth as above, so below, bringing this energy up from the crystalline core again to the soles of your feet, breathing the energy of rejuvenation of Mother Guy into your body, restoring, again, continuing to heal, restore all distortions, bringing forth the balance, the healing, the energy as above, so below, Mother Gaia, Mother Gaia, Mother Gaia, bring forth the power of the living energy of rejuvenation, restoration, regeneration. So Mother Gaia, as the Pleiadian Council of Light, the Emissaries of Light, and Mother Gaia hold you in balance, with grace and ease. So tonight, for the power, for the love, for the glory, as you honor and receive this gift of the cellular rejuvenation and repattering, so that you may return back into your exalted state as a physical, spiritual being, as a new earth being, your etheric body is now restored back to its original divine perfection. You are being reborn again, renewed again, restored again in divine holy grace. So now, my children, prepare yourself to receive, prepare yourself to receive, prepare yourself to receive. This is the gift that we, the voices of your seeing, wish to bring to you, as well as the emissaries, the plating emissaries of light. Because each of you have powerful, powerful missions to complete. And you must be healthy and strong and balanced and centered and grounded in order to complete your mission. And let go of any false beliefs that you are not able to complete your soul purpose and pathway and soul mission. You are here by divine appointment and you will succeed. And we wish for you to do this in a healthy, happy, and an exalted state as you finish and complete this incarnation with joy, happiness, grace, and ease. Go forward now. Blessings to all. Prepare yourself to receive. And we thank you, the voices of the Essenes. We thank you, the Pleiadian Council of Light, the Emissaries of Light. We thank all the beings of light will step forward to assist us upon this day. We thank you, beloved Mother Gaia. We thank our beloved Christ. We thank the energy of the great Godhead and all the masters who have assisted us as we return back to our divine perfection, as we've come to serve and to be served. We thank you, Father, Mother God. In this we give our grace, and so it is.